Hello, and welcome back to my latest video. And today's video, by popular request, from Barry Strong, we have Black Sabbath. And Barry wanted to know what are the best, pre best sounding pressings that I have found. Well, we'll talk a little bit about that. All right, first up, the first Black Sabbath record, 1970. I was in uh, grade 10, 10th grade, when this record came out. And of course I got it. And you know, headphones every night kind of thing. But I had the Canadian press at the time. This is something that I bought probably 30 years ago. This is a WWA pressing. And you know, we talked about we talked about the vertigo swirls on the last video. Well, Black Sabbath was one of the bands that was on the vertigo swirl. And so being a swirl, it's very collectible. And the prices have gone up because there's there's a lot of folks out there, they just want to collect the swirl label, and they want everything on it, and it driving it's driven driven the price way high. Okay, so now this is a a WWA label. This is a UK press. That's where the WWA label comes from. It's a UK press, but if you look in the dead wax, you will see V06 in the stamped in the dead wax. That comes off obviously off the stamper. And what is V06? V06 is the swirl of this record. If you want to get an original swirl, you better get a V06. So this is, they've used the same stamper for this record, for the WWH. Now I haven't gone and, I used to have some other WWH records, but the condition wasn't, wasn't very good. So I sold them and uh, I replaced them with other ones. Now, the sound on this record is fantastic. Number one, it's a UK press. Number one, it comes from the original stamper off that swirl because the swirls now, that's going to be the original. From the UK, from the, that's the original tapes. This is the original stamper and it sounds fantastic and I mean this record is 50 years old. It still sounds it's quiet, the background's quiet, there's no noise on it. I played it a thousand times, it still sounds like the day it was pressed. It sounds fantastic. Great sounding record. So, that's one way to kind of get the shortcut and save some money is to try to find a WWA pressing. But, you know, um, 20 years ago you could do that. They were pretty cheap. Not a lot of people knew about the WWA label. I did, and you know, I remember there was one seller. He was selling three Black Sabbath records all on the WWA label, and they were all supposed to be excellent plus, and it was like twenty bucks for all three. And I just said, you know, that's not a big deal. Well, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I want. And then you know, by the time I decided, the next week later, of course, they were sold. But that's the kind of things you could get back then. No, I don't think not now. And you know what? Here's here's the other problem with. Uh, now with eBay, now I don't know about Discogs so much because I haven't bought stuff off Discogs, but I know from buying on eBay from the UK, everything that they say is excellent, in my book is, I won't even, I don't want to own it. So I don't know, maybe if you, you can look close enough and some of these sellers look like they're, they're just selling pristine vinyl, but they're, those guys usually charge, they want the moon for everything. So. I don't like buying from UK 
but I love UK presses. You know, that's that's the conundrum on that. Okay, so what else have I got up my sleeve? Let's have a look. So remember, if you can get the WWA presses of the early records in really nice condition, that's the one. That's one to get. What's up next? What's up next? This one doesn't have the, the sticker on it, but it does have the logo on here, and it talks about it. But I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward to here. You see where it's got this logo down here? Limited edition classic reissue on 180 gram vinyl. Sanctuary. Got a little sticker down there. These are the Sanctuary reissues, the Castle Sanctuary from of 2001 it says on here castle made in England 2001 same thing up on top of here made in England castle 2001 sanctuary records corporation okay so And these are nice. They got kind of a picture logo on one side, and then they got the song listings on the other side. And you know they're nice gate bolts. Nice shiny covers. Now the 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 thickness of the covers is not up. And then they had a nice inner sleeve in here too. It's just on shiny paper. The lyrics on it. The the uh, the covers are thin, but UK pressings have never been known for their ultra-thick covers. They've always had the thin covers. So, now, when I compared the sound quality, I have a video out there, because when, uh, Back when Rhino reissued all their pressings, you know, all the Black Sabbath, and it was came out on that green Warner Brother label. Well, that's when I was really on that uh, the Rhino bandwagon. And when I saw that, I said, oh my goodness, this would be awesome. I can get all the Black Sabbath on Rhino. This is going to be just phenomenal. So, you know, I bought the whole, I bought about four or five of them. And then I listened to them, and they were very, very good. They were very, very good. I was really, really impressed. And then I pulled up my, my castle, and I compared the two, and I said, hang on a minute now. And I listened. And, oh, yeah. The castles are better. They sound like the WWA, that, the, the fidelity that's on it. The bass is really kicking in the, and you can really feel you in the back of the couch, hitting. And just more detail. It's a, just a better pressing. This is the castles are really good. They have the same fidelity as the WWA press does, which probably has the same fidelity as the swirl would have on the the vertigo pressing. So I really like these these castles now from 2001. Now there's a couple other reissues that Castle's done, I think 2011 or 2009 and you know, but I don't know anything about those. I just know that in two, the 2001 Castle's, you know, you think about it, 2001, they got the tapes, they remastered them, because that's what they did, they, it's been remastered from the original master tape now, these records have been. And they sound fantastic, they sound just like that WWA, so I think this is the one to get, really. And they're not like the moon, like the swirls are going to be. So I've got this one on the WWA. I mean, uh, the, the castle, sanctuary. This is the same thing, 2001. Inside, they're on a gatefold, which is really nice. And then I just bought this here just a little while ago. And I haven't really been buying records at all, but I just decided... I've got it off eBay. I'll just click on there and see what they got. Bam, there it was. It's got that logo on there. And I was just looking under Castle because I really wasn't... See, it just says on here, 
limited edition classic reissue on 180 gram vinyl. And there's your, you know, this one always came with the book on, with the paper stapled in there, the little book. Now, the interesting thing about this record is, what did I have in my collection before I got this? Oops, sorry, not standing up very good. I had an original Japanese first edition swirl, whipped up Obi the whole nine yard. Beautiful record. I just happened to be searching through and I just found it on a great deal and bought it. And it was like the mint condition, the whole nine yards. And I listened to it and it was sounded really nice. And I thought, well, this has got to be the ultimate, right? Well, you know, the Black Sabbath, no, that's a swirl. That has to be pretty original. But there's a lot of these other Black Sabbath um, records where they've got like a red OB on them. But that, those all came out in like 76. And that's one thing about Discogs is they, come, they, they show a lot of that stuff more than you can find on eBay. Uh, so they're not an original pressing. It's been, re, it's, I don't know, but those, I got the same problem with the Alex Harvey records. They never did press them at the, uh, when they came out. They did them later. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of tapes they had, but they don't have the same fidelity as the UK presses do. Um, all the Alex Harvey UK presses are fantastic. Just like these, these are really good. Okay, so I found, see I still have the Rhino because the Rhino sounded better than the Swirl did. <coughs> Excuse me. So I kept this, but now I have the, I have the, uh, the Castle record. <coughs> and um, see there's the front side and here's the other side and this is the original inner sleeve that they come in I haven't I have a box of inner sleeves and stuff I haven't even pulled it out yet switch all this stuff over clean the record or anything I just got it like I think two, about two months ago I got it in the mail haven't even listened to it yet. So, that would be, and I have, of course, the Rhino here, and then I have um, Master of Reality. I still have that on the Rhino. But, I've been looking on Discogs, okay? Been looking on Discogs, and I found that what I did was I typed in Black Sabbath 2001 and I clicked on that and you know what it brings up the covers and you can see the little let's go back to the record it'll show you that little sticker on there so you know that's the one and you got you've got 2001 so when you go to check your information that's the ones to get now and you, they're on you know there's not a lot but they're on uh, Discogs I've, I've seen them you can get some of these records on that now this one here has got a little bit of a a waveniness to it I don't know what happened but you know that's when you buy used stuff that's what happens probably once I get it put in a bag and get it put in the collection and get it kind of squished together a bit more it's just been sitting the wrong way for a while who knows what happened but anyway I'm glad to own it they're hard to get and it's going to sound fantastic You know what I should do is just rob this, just take this whole thing apart and put the record inside this nice, this, because this Rhino, man, these covers are huge, they're thick, they're beautiful. That would be a nice record. That's be the way to do it. Of course, I'd be, I'd be getting rid of my, my Rhino. I couldn't sell it or anything, but I don't care. It'd probably be nice. See, the right here's the thing about the Rhinos now. They all came on the Green Warner Brother label. And Rhino, they were issuing, issuing at that time, they issued a lot of the uh, Warner Brother, they issued, they were called the Warner Brother Rhinos. 
and they issued a lot of the stuff that was on the Warner Brother label. And like, look at this, how thick this cover is. This is gorgeous, how the, the covers themselves. But I think, you know, I've had the original Green Warner Brother of a couple of these records. And that's what Rhino did. Rhino got the original U.S. tapes. They didn't get the original U.K. tape. They got the original U.S.A. tapes that Warner Brother had, that Warner Brother used to make their records. And these sound just like a first edition green label Warner Brother would sound like, which is pretty good. I mean, go out and try to buy an original uh, green label Warner Brother record. Black Sabbath, they're very expensive. And you're not gonna get one like this. So what I told people back in the day was if you've got a bunch of you know, beat up records and you're looking for to get a really nice one, yeah, go out and buy this. It sounds great, you'll really love it. But if you're looking for that extra amount of fidelity, then you've got, I would go for either, of course, if you got the big money and you got the big checkbook, go out and buy all the swirls in mint condition. But you know, it's gonna cost you a fortune. But if you don't have that and you have patience, go for the Sanctuary 2001, or if you can, these are going to be, no, these are more, these are originals. These are going to be more, more expensive. The WWAs. They're not going to be like expensive like the Swirl. But then you've got to deal with all these, these uh, issue concerns. Because these are, you know, these are 50 year old records. And especially, and I saw a lot of them, they're from UK. And I'm like, I, I'm just so afraid to buy UK things from people from the UK. But you know. I saw one of these, the guy was selling it from Sweden, to come and sell it from Norway, they're selling it from different countries. USA, that, that's great. I saw a guy was selling one from the USA. I think I bought this, it was a guy, I don't remember where I bought this. It came from an overseas, I think. I don't remember, it must have been, I can't remember exactly, sorry. But um, I think what I'll do is, uh, that'll, that'll just conclude the video for today. Uh, I hope that answers all your questions. If you, you have some more, Please uh, let me know and thanks for watching.